Hi guys, uh, my name is Amr. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for the past like four or five years since Dragon Ball returned, I have been so happy and excited about it. And blending into the Dragon Ball community really changed my life in a positive way. And for so long, I wanted to start a YouTube channel to make Dragon Ball content and other stuff that I enjoy doing. But I don't know why I uh, didn't start back then. Maybe I didn't feel like doing it, and now I'm excited to start. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yesterday I didn't know what video should I start or what series should I bring to the channel, and uh, it came up to my mind like do the top ten uh, units on Dokkan and see how it goes from there. So um, in today's video. I will be giving my opinion on the top 10 units of each type in the game, starting with the AGL type. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching and see you on the next one. So um, this is how I'm going to rank units in, in my video. Um, I have three main uh, main points that I want th this unit to to have um, to take my attention because recently we are getting so many new units in the game and there is just no use for them so my three points are number one it's usage where I'm going to use this unit and what team it fits in number two it's passive and how this passive will contribute in the team number three uh, it's leader skill Be of course leader skill is like the most important thing in the game but we have so many leader skills right, right now that you can I mean unless you are playing a uh, super battle road you don't even care if you have one team with a good leader skill and nothing else so yeah um, as you can see in number 10 it's Super Saiyan Blue Goku why it's number 10 only because of the passive only because of the passive and it has prepared for battle and and why did I choose this one instead of uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku uh, easily because it the Kaioken has flat boost while this one is percentage boost there is a huge huge advantage here so this is why I'm choosing this the Kaioken has better links of course there is no comparison but I would prefer the attack boost the percentage boost over flat boost so this is why this unit is here and in, in in my uh, in my account, I actually never used the Kaioken Goku. I mean, yeah, I max him out and give him orbs and stuff. But do I even need to use this card? No. I lose HP, and the attack stats is not that great. So, yeah, I prefer using this guy. So this is a number ten, number nine. <laughs> Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, this guy is like the first SSR wave that came to the game. He is like, um, to me, it's like my favorite card in the game because I like Super Saiyan God transformation. And I was disappointed when this card got the Dokken Awakening because it got only 80% it's okay because if if it gets the 80% it still has more usage than the Super Saiyan Blue Goku because if you are going to tell me why this is number 10 and has 100% and this is number 9 has 80% because this this guy has many teams to fit in and he has over the flash shocking speed Although it doesn't have repair for battle, but it's still, it's still very usable. 
so and and the leader scale is actually pretty good if you are having a new account and starting in the game you can use this leader skill you can use this and use like the new uh, the new Goku which gives super type 3 key and 120% attack boost all, all boost so you can use this card to, to now as the leader so yeah it's, it's, it's useful in number 8 uh, I'm actually um, I'm actually disappointed because I'm put in number 8 when I was ranking them and because uh, that's why because uh, this card was like the first SSR that I pulled uh, when I started JP uh, the Japanese version of the game um, why it's it's ranked 8 um, because if you have the str one you wouldn't even think of this guy he got more more passive than this I mean it's, it's like it's pretty much the same passive but the str is way better um, yeah uh, it's, it's leader skill is still usable of course if you don't have uh, the str one and in, in so many cases people have this guy rainbowed and the str1 is not rainbowed so they use this guy and I completely agree and if I have the same I would use him instead of the str1 so yeah that's for number 8 <laughs> Super Saiyan Rose uh, number 7 he is the leader for the Super AGL and um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is is a cool unit, but it's like it's, it's pretty standard. Like it has the attack and defense hundred twenty percent, and yeah, it sometimes can if uh, can uh, counter attack, counter super attacks. But it's it's pretty like there's nothing special about this unit so it's, it's just there like if you're not gonna use this guy i'm using it for this link saiyan roar to support super saiyan for goku or i'm using it for its leader skill and the defense boost that's it that's it for this unit so it's not like the 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 unit that it's going to change the game I mean, sometimes, of course, it, it's 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 very useful, but I, I feel like it's, it's a standard unit. Like they didn't feel like they need to put, um, I don't know, to give him something broken, so they made him very standard. Like give him attack and defense, and like Goku give him the counter. So that's it for him. I don't know. <laughs> This is why I'm uh, ranking him at number seven. Number five, the original Super Saiyan three Dragon Fist Goku. I love this card so much. The card art is so amazing. I really like this card so much. And when it received the uh, the Z Awakening, I was so happy with this unit. Really. Uh, if you ask me why I'm ranking this better than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, it's easily because this guy, when he uh, when he's Z awakened, his attack stats gets way higher than uh, Vegeta, so he's way better than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and he's use and he's useful in uh, the Super Saiyan 3 team. Sometimes I like running this uh, the end Super Saiyan 3 Goku that they gave us on the year three which is support unit sometimes I feel like I don't need support I'm gonna use this guy and go through events with one shot <laughs> so yeah this, this guy is pretty amazing and the 120% attack boost that he gets when he is Z awakened is incredible this unit easily gets to 2 million when I'm uh, running Super Saiyan 3 team 
so it's it's very cooking I love it so much number four so um this is number four no no sorry this is number five <laughs> number five sorry number five unit it's 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 new I didn't use it but the passive and leader skill are very good and I I think that I was disappointed because I don't like metal cooler very much I was disappointed because they gave him the leader skill that I wanted Frieza to have or even uh, final form cooler to have I don't really like metal cooler I don't know uh, he has like 170% all stats which is amazing and he gets the AGL type 3 key and HP attack and defense 90% it's very good he's like the equivalent for uh, Super 17 from Dragon Ball Super sorry uh, Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super so he's that good and he gets like attack and defense 80% at the start and he builds up his attack he's not that great passive but his leader skill really is so good I wish Fiza would have this but it's okay so yeah his passive is really good if you think of it because he recover HP and he unleashed metal cooler so he transforms too so this is his transformation I don't like the card art very much I don't know I'm not a big fan of the transformations when the card goes big I don't feel that Dokkan is like the game to have this kind of transformations I don't know <laughs> so yeah this is in number uh, 5 <laughs> again I'm losing math okay this guy number 4 Super Vegito um, if I can talk about this unit all day I wouldn't stop talking uh, whenever someone uh, talks about this unit I say I this guy is the saving grace of Dokkan because I remember in 2016 the game was so boring like imagine running uh, Super Gogeta with his leader skill 3 key and 3000 boost attack what are we doing? the game was so boring at this time and many people was like I'm quitting this game there's no there's nothing to do and then they came out with this with this guy right here he his leader skill actually changed everything because we didn't have that three key HP attack and defense boost percentage boost but the leader skill wasn't the only thing that um, changed the game his passive is like the thing that uh, Till now, this card stands its alone. Like, if you tell me uh, to choose between this guy and number one, I would still choose this guy because of its passive. This guy can uh, take damage, negative eighty percent, and counter back. So if you if you imagine this guy in the world tournament team or uh, running against Hill Jr. this guy takes the whole field and he has cool links prepare for battle, shock and speed uh, he used fighter so he is very good um, unfortunately the physical physical unit is um, when it came out it um, it kind of erased the existence of this guy but if you don't have the physical you are running this guy no matter what so yeah this is uh, my number four and 
I I I, I want to make it number one, but I can't. <laughs> so yeah. Number three. Um, not a big fan of Turles as a character, but uh, his leader skill, uh, the movie boss category is is good. Uh, there's no denying that. Um, and his second leader skill, the extreme, it's okay. It's just there. Um, but he's passive. His passive is what um, is what made this game um, remembers Kibu, the physical Kibu, that gives 50% attack boost. He gives 40% attack boost. That's very cool. And he gives three key. Sometimes I wish this card doesn't have a transformation mechanic because of this passive, but they said why not? Let's give him transformation. His transformation is cool, I guess, but if you're running this guy, you're running him for the support. And you don't need his huge attack boost and huge muscles. Because if you're running him if you're running him, you're using Broly, uh Frieza. You're using the big guns, so you don't need you don't need this. You only need this. But it's very cool to have. Although the transformation is like twenty percent, twenty five percent chance, so it's not it's not going to transform like every game. But yeah, it's it's very good unit, and uh i prefer running it on the pure sand if i have this unit because i really struggled so much trying to get this unit and i still don't have him but if i'm ha if i have this unit i will be running him on the pure sand team alongside broly so yeah in number two and i don't know if i should put this number two or number one but i'll be telling you why super saiyan goku that uh, came up last month why I am giving him the, the second best AGO unit pretty much because I was very disappointed very disappointed because of the attack animations are so bad this guy has very bad Kamehameha super uh, animation I don't even know how to talk about this animation. It was so bad until you get here, if you ever get here, to Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We never reached this. So we witness all these bad animations with this guy. And he doesn't start very strong. So his, his leader skill is very good the key plus 3 and HP attack and defense 120% it's very amazing leader skill it's better than Vegito blue but I don't like starting with 80% attack boost although I can put units but it's not even a support unit so why are you giving me 80% at the beginning and the animations are very bad except when you reach here and you never reach here so yeah this unit also is um, is very useful on uh, uh, the pure saiyan team I don't recommend running this guy on the super saiyan 3 because he will struggle thinking at the beginning and if you're running super saiyan 3 team you will be easily one shotting every event so this guy wouldn't even transform so there is no use for him um yeah it's it's pretty much pure saiyans realm of gods um also not a big fan because you will struggle reaching to super saiyan god goku and super saiyan blue goku you will struggle so um this is why it's not number one my number one is easily Blue Vegeta. Um, this guy has the best team in the game, and uh, he's he's the leader of his team, so <laughs> it's pretty much easy to put him in number one spot. Uh, Pure Saiyans 
and he gives him his category 3 key and HP and uh, defense 170 and 130 attack it's not like the best attack boost uh, compared to other categories but the category itself speak for itself you have Vegeta, Goku, Bardock, Broly uh, the universe 7 Saiyans you can run all of them here and there's so many variations to make pure Saiyan team that you don't even know how to make like the perfect team because they are all good um, I don't know how to um, to uh, to tell you this but this guy is pretty much the best <laughs> the best uh, leader to to a category in Dokkan because if you if you want to tell me that uh, LR Vegito Super uh, Super Vegito that uh, came on year three and Gogeta they have better leader skill better units but they don't have uh, this category the pure saint category and he's not the leader so this is why I'm choosing him uh, as a number one of course they're not AGL units if they were the <laughs> they would be better than him but yeah so yeah uh, this guy gives uh, attacks with 120% and he is good at tanking uh, I wasn't I uh, when this card came out I didn't understand why he launches two additional attacks but when I got his uh, his potential uh, unlocked and now he can crit now I understand <laughs> how useful this is um, his defense I don't really think that defense matter at this point because most of the unit has uh, high defensive stats so I don't I don't like give defense a huge like um, what do I say <laughs> it's not like the biggest important thing in the unit to to look for defense it's just the attack except if you are talking about Vegito Blue because he do this and he counters so if you want to talk about the defensive unit talk about this guy but here, uh, if he launches two additional, uh, he will launch two additional attacks, and he will perform crit with uh, ten percent uh, each performed up to seventy percent. So he pretty much will crit. Yeah. So uh, that's it. That's it for uh, the top ten AGL units. I think. Um, I think that they made my list. Um, I don't know. I hope you enjoy watching. <laughs> and yeah, I uh, see you in the next video. Bye.